so this is impassioned. No. Nope. Oh yeah. Flouncy, flouncy. A Fergalicious definition. Make them boys go loco. Well, that's a good look. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a MAC collection and swatches on my lips video for you. So I'm hoping this is something you might be interested in. I was kind of brainstorming videos I could record and this is one I thought, mm, I like those videos so maybe my subscribers would like them too. A couple of things I want to address. First of all, you probably noticed my hair is different. I've had some balayage done. Basically, I went into a salon and I told them I wanted to go lighter for summer and they said um, that up here would have been no problem to go lighter but there was such a build up of colour kind of down towards the mid lengths and ends that they wouldn't be able to lift that as successfully as they would have been able to lift the top. So she suggested I lighten my hair from here for now and then go in with maybe highlights eventually but I really like the results. Um, she used actually three colours, like a chocolate brown at the top, a lighter brown through here and then some highlights towards the end and then some high lift bleach at the ends as well. So let me know down below if you like my hair. I know it's a little bit brassy but I mean it was the best I could expect from, from the bleach at the time without going in a second time and completely destroying my hair. It still feels soft and in good condition so I'm pretty pleased with the effect. Also I literally just washed it yesterday and blast dried it and this is what it looks like and she wanted to give me a cut and a colour that I could literally wash and go and get away with so I'm pretty pleased um, but I can't wait to see what we do the next time and the next time and the next time so it'll be kind of a work in progress. Also I've had a couple of comments on my older videos um, I think they're trying to be constructive but their comments telling me that my background is really bad and that I should change it and maybe then more people might watch my videos but if you actually saw my apartment you would realize that this is the only part of the apartment where number one I get good lighting and number two there's actually space to film. If you live in Dublin and you're from the country you'll probably know that in Dublin what they call a double room is actually in the country what you'd call a single room but with a double bed shoved into it. So we have three bedrooms in this apartment but they're all very small. It's literally the double bed and then maybe two or three feet all around. So there isn't space to fill them unless I want to sit on the floor and cram up like this. Here I've got good lighting because I've like all windows in front of me here and I know the background isn't ideal. I don't have the money to buy a good screen at the moment but watch this space because we might be moving in the next few weeks. Just before we get started, I'd like to throw you out a tip. Uh, my lips are y usually not in great condition. I bite my lips in my sleep, which is an awful habit, but I don't know how I'm going to break it. And if I get stressed, I bite my lips during the day, and as a result, they get quite chapped, cracked, and sometimes they bleed as well, which is totally disgusting. But this product is an absolute miracle worker. If you slather some of this on just before you go to sleep, you wake up in the morning and you have basically brand new lips. And this is the Blistex Relief Cream. It looks quite medicated, it's not the most attractive thing in the world. And it comes in a box that looks like this, so you'll kind of, you'll see it in your chemist looking like this. Boots don't stock this. I get it in my local chemist, so if you do see it, pick it up. It's about three or four euro, and it's really, really good at repairing your lips, more or less overnight. Um, you will see a noticeable difference in the morning after wearing this. And just a word of warning, don't carry this in your pocket or your handbag because it's kind of those metal tubes and if it gets cracked or anything the stuff will just go everywhere and it's just a waste. So uh, keep this by your bedside locker and put it on maybe first thing in the morning and last thing at night and you will have incredible lips. So with that being said, I am going to show you my MAC lipstick collection. Now, I don't have an awful lot. These are my MAC lipsticks. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight now, which isn't an awful lot. I had more but I've back to MAC'd some. And this one is still in the box because I only bought it yesterday. So I'm going to, I've obviously got nothing on my lips right now and I'm going to start off with the lightest colour. And this is the colour Creme de Nude and it's a cream sheen finish and it is a nude colour. That looks like this. I, ha I bought this about three or four months ago and I've never really worn it because I tried it on once and I, to be honest, I didn't really like it. So I'm just going to pop it on now so you can see what it looks like.
So as you can see, it's very nude. It kind of makes me look kind of washed out and I'm coming across very pale on the camera here. I'm a little bit more bronzed in real life, but this nude just, I don't think it really suits me. Um, let me know what you think down below, but it's not one I wear too often anyway. Next is one I really like, it's Cream Cup and it's a cream sheen finish. And as you can see, I haven't got a whole lot of it left. It's a really nice, kind of satin finish, baby pink. So I'm just gonna apply that and show you what it looks like. So as you can see, it's a really flattering kind of muted baby pink. It's not one of those like Saint Germain, you know, crazy light pinks, but it's just really natural. It goes with kind of any eye look or any cheeks. And this is one I wear really often, as you can see by how little I have left. Next is one that's actually quite similar and this is the infamous Angel and it's a frost finish and this is the one that um, they say Kim Kardashian wears and this is kind of a slightly darker muted pink and I will pop this on and show you what it looks like. It just looks like this, it's a nice kind of no fuss, low maintenance lip color for like smoky lip, or smoke lips, for like smoky eyes and such. Um, really flattering, it has a little bit of shimmer to it. And yeah, I like this one too. My lips are starting to get a little bit sore. Um, next, I'm going to show you Costa Chic. And this is a frost finish as well. Um, it's a little bit mangled. I think I showed you in one of my previous videos, so I'm going to have to apply this kind of delicately. It looks like this. It's a lovely, bright, kind of coral color, and it's really nice for spring, summer, so I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the lips. So this is Costa Chic. It's a much brighter color. It would be lovely spring, summer, even winter time with just like a really nice smoky eye. Um, but yeah, I really like this color, and the lasting power is quite good. Next is one of the MAC Viva Glam lipsticks, and you know they're Viva Glam because they have the red here instead of the silver. And this is Viva Glam 5, and this is kind of a your lips but better color, and I have literally just a nub left, really, really tiny amount. It's quite shimmery, but I'll show you what it looks like on the lips. It's kind of the one that's closest to my natural lip color. So this is what Viva Glam 5 looks like on the lips. It's quite kind of a grown up color, more demure. Uh, I wear this if I'm feeling like I don't want to stick out from the crowd too much, if that makes sense. Um, it's not, obviously it's not one of my brighter lipsticks and I wear this if I want to be kind of prim and proper and grown up. Oh, my lips are getting so sore. Now we're on to the brighter, more bold colors, the exciting part, and this is the color Impassioned and it's an amplified, which means it is like crazy pigmented. And it looks like this, it's kind of a coral pinky color. And it's absolutely beautiful. This is what Impassioned looks like on the lips. As you can see, it's a really bold color. It's one of those kind of attention grabbing colors, but I absolutely love it. It would be really nice on a night out or going out for dinner. And I think it's just a really, really beautiful carly pink color. As you can see, my lips are kind of starting to get stained, but it's okay, we've only two left, and I'm starting to thank God I only have eight MAC lipsticks. Next is an, another amplified, and this is called Girl About Town. It's more of a purpley pink color. It's kind of on the same lines as Impassioned. It's just more purple than it is coral. So this is what Girl About Town looks like on the lips. I'm not applying the lipsticks perfectly. You can see kind of where I've gone over the lip line, but it's just to give you a rough idea of what they look like on the lips. This, as you can see, is more of a blue or purple toned pink lip, but it's just as glamorous 
if not more glamorous than impassioned but I absolutely adore this color I'm starting to realize I should wear these colors a little bit more often and um, let me know in the comments below what you think of the lipsticks by the way and which ones you think suit me and which you, which ones you think don't um yeah so this is girl about town and now we're on to the final lipstick and this is in the box because I only bought it yesterday and this is heroin and this is a matte finish which means it's gonna be a nightmare to take off and it's this purple color and I haven't even swatched it as you can see. So this will be my first impression on it. I've never actually seen this lipstick on myself before. So this will be interesting. I hope the staining doesn't affect. I actually really like this. Um, it does make me look quite pale. Um, the finish doesn't feel too, too dry, but I would still use a good lip balm underneath. Um, so this is heroin. Does it make my teeth look white or yellow? I can't quite figure it out. So this is what heroin looks like. I actually really like it. It's really different for me. So let me know what you think of it down below. So that is all of my MAC lipstick collection and swatches. My lips are absolutely in bits right now, so I'm going to take this off and give them a bit of TLC with a bit of a scrub and a bit of lip balm and maybe a touch of my Ballistex just to bring them back to life. Let me know down below if you liked this video. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed and subscribe if you like my videos. I can't believe I'm literally like not too far from 800 subscribers, which is absolutely insane to me. I love when I get those little emails saying, oh, Da, 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 I subscribe to you on YouTube. I love it, it makes me so excited. Um, thanks so much for watching and I'll talk to you really soon. Bye. So I just removed the heroin color from my bottom lip and just created this, because my bottom lip is still stained with all the pinks. I thought that looked kind of cool. No, no, maybe not.